Not too big a problem there, but look what happens when it gets bigger. So what does that mean? Well, looking at here, you can see this is a pure tone, and that's what it should look like on a oscilloscope or on a spectrum analyzer, actually. And it's nice and narrow relatively and then we, if we go and clip it you see how it spreads out and all of that is not good that is the sort of thing you do not really want to have and then if we take it even just without over driving but just change the shape of it so that's the way that things can happen with different tapes you can see again you get different shapes on the spectrum analyzer this is really not what you want to have happen to your recordings because if it isn't the same as it went on, it's going to sound totally different when you play it back. So on those recordings, the wider signals equal sound that should not be there. This is noise added to the recording. The different types I have include represent the most common on cassette and reel-to-reel -reel tape recordings. One, as it should be. Two, just too much signal. Three and four are subtle, but it's like drove drive the circuitry. It is a bit of an oversaturated tape. These are things that are easier to see than hear. It has spread out over the 10 kilohertz from only 1 kilohertz. For hours, it's a big splat. Now for some real sounds. This is uh, dueling banjos from Deliverance, and there's initially a 1 kHz tone, then there's the sound, and you can see they've been processed in the same way as the previous discussion. As you could hear from there, that was the same tone done in three different ways, and it sounded different every time. And uh, the really hard drive one does sound awful. Now that produces harmonics, and harmonics is means it will make choruses, and this is often used by orchestras and things to try and put in a fifth voice. Something like barbershop quartets do this, and that's the way it works, which is great, but not when you're trying to reproduce something you've already heard. The distortion literally adds extra sounds to what you've already got, and that's what you call distortion, and that's just the moisture that you get out the back end. Well, that's the end of this one, and if you've got any queries or questions, please put them in the comments below, and if you've got any value out of this, please subscribe. If you'd like to see more, there are some videos popping up here in a few seconds.